Heck yeah, it's con time! Hey, if Japanimation is good enough for Ichiro Itano, then it's good enough for me. It's less about you using an outdated term and more about you purposely yelling it in an effort to rile people. Look, if people are allowed to keep saying animes despite the plural for anime being anime, then I have the right to say something as equally as ear grating. Two wrongs don't make a right, Kevin. Melrose said it in Anime Tensho. Its usage in a Japanese production gives it credence. Even so, you've been pronouncing anime wrong for years, and I'm not giving you crap for it. No, I haven't. You keep saying anime when it's supposed to be pronounced more like anime. It's an acceptable pronunciation these days. And who's to say animes won't become an acceptable term with time? It's like saying Pokemons is okay, but you don't hear people saying that with sincerity. Not a single Japanese person was involved with it! It was animated in Texas! For sakes, therefore it can't be considered anime. So what? There has to be some percentage of Japanese people involved before a cartoon can be considered anime. What's the cutoff? 25%? 50%? What? Oh, hi, yo, Jessica Chan. Aren't Watashi's cosplay kawaii? Desu, Sarah Chan. Oh, hi, oh. Coming here was a mistake. Oh, uh, but you're the one who wanted to come here and cosplay. Well, yeah, but that's because I was drunk. What I really wanted was to do something fun with you before you left for NYC. Not waste my weekend hanging around a bunch of smelly dweebs who are socially stunted. But don't you go to places like this for your job? Like that time I ran into you at QuakeCon? Uh, do I really need to explain why I might not want to spend my days off going to the kinds of places I do for work? N no, I'm sorry. That was dumb of me. Uh, we got an executive suite? We got an executive suite? Alrighty, how about we get dressed up and head down to the con? Actually, I'm gonna go grab some food first. I skipped breakfast and could eat a horse right about now. Oh, in that case, we can go with you then head to the con afterward. Nah, it's cool. You two go ahead and get ready. I'll meet up with you after I stuff myself. See ya! Hey, wait! <sighs> I really wanted the three of us to go together. I bet he's gonna do something perverted like wear women's underwear under his costume and doesn't want us to see him putting it on. Drinking already. Nah, that sort of thing wouldn't embarrass him. I don't understand. I thought we reserved a single bed to save on money. How do we get an executive suite? Did the hotel make a mistake? Think we should go down and talk to the front desk? There's a couch! Multiple, even! I called you the hotel after you made the reservation and upgraded it. Don't worry, I'm covering the difference. Way to go, Angela! But why spend all that money? Simple. Kevin will sleep in here and is absolutely forbidden from entering the bedroom for any reason. Or else I'll slit his throat. That's a bit excessive. Works for me! I'm getting a room to myself, so I'm coming out on top! Oh? Yeah, I've seen him put on my underwear in front of me a bunch of times and it was never an issue. Oh, no, I mean, it wasn't like he wanted to. I forced him. Wait, that sounds worse. Oh, let me start over. It was back when we were middle and high school. I was young and didn't understand boundaries. He, he ejected the first several times, I swear. But I kept making him because I really liked dressing him up in my outfits. I couldn't help myself. He was super adorbs and squishy. I wanted to hug and squeeze him until he burst. And I kind of had the thought if he wore my stuff, and me and we become closer. Something like an indirect kiss. But instead it'd be like, I don't know what the heck I was thinking then puberty was a savage time for me okay ah, freaky in my life plus ultra hey angela you almost ready yeah just give me a sec to mentally prepare myself <laughs> fine fine there's no rush uh, i'm gonna need a couple more oh yeah come on deku let's get our butts to the convention Whoa, you're really putting on the charm today. Just how many shots have you had? Poo poo, you make it sound like you can only be energetic when I'm drunk. But yeah, I've had like this many. Phew. That's a bit much. You gonna be alright? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I do it because I love you. Please don't become an alcoholic on my behalf. <laughs> don't you worry your little butt. But if I do, then you'll have to accept all responsibility and stay with me forever as punishment, okay? Uh, do you think we should wait a few more minutes for Kevin to come back? He shouldn't be that much longer. Forget him! He's had plenty of time to come back. If he'd rather mess around than hang out with us, then that's his loss. Man, about time. Besides, he said it was fine to go without him anyway. 
Let's make the best of our alone time before he shows up and kills us with his idiocy. Wow! Deku and Uraga cosplay! Awesome! You guys are super cute together. Can I get a photo? Heck yeah, you can! <laughs> And so, Elaine and Angela arrived at the con, where they went about enjoying themselves. Holy crap, it's a guy! I've wanted a figure of him since I was a kid! Nice! <laughs> Angela! Oh, Choco, you're like an angel who has blessed me with her appearance. Would you please allow me to take you out on... Oh, screw off! I was just role-playing! Okay, I'm outside. Great, we'll be out in a sec, waiting on Angela. Kev, how much can one person eat? We're going on without you. Text me when you get back to the hotel room, okay? You back? You okay? It's been a couple of hours now and still no response. I'm starting to worry something might have happened to him. Maybe he got food poisoning and is camping by the toilet. Think we should go check? What are you, his mom? He's an adult, Elaine. If he was actually sick, he can take care of himself. I guarantee you nothing bad happened to him, so try to ease up a little. It'd be more at ease if he responded to my text. I'm gonna head back to the hotel room and see if he at least came. Yo! Uh! Deku! Oh, Choco! How's it hanging? Oh, that's a really cute Mina cosplay. I'd love to chat and roleplay, but I... What's with the gloomy face? Don't you know we're at an anime convention? You need to turn that frown upside down and have some fun! Wait a sec, Kevin? <laughs> Guess my voice gives me away! Surprise! Bet you didn't expect me to pick her, did ya? Elsa, you look cute. I guess all that pink body paint explains why you took so long. Angela and I thought you might have gotten lost after going out for food. Uh, you really think I get lost like that? That chest looks a bit too good to be formed, and those thighs for days. Dang. I know he put on body paint, but there doesn't seem to be any indication there's padding at all. Even the best looking hip pads I've come across at photo shoots have some sort of seam that they edit out in Photoshop. But no matter how I look at him, they're completely legit. I hate to admit it, but Kevin's really hot right now. Wow, Angela, without your usual scowl, you're super cute. It'd be cool to see you like this more often. Don't touch me. Now that we're all together, how about the three of us get this party started? It was going before you showed up. Ah, oh, yeah! In honor of Elaine leaving for New York, let's make sure to have as much fun as we possibly can. There's nothing that'll get in the way of our good time. I'll be darned. Dr. Miranda, lead scientist for with a background exceptional no. She graduated from onto the project to advance Nanoma that earned her the Department of De Her designs for the complete coverage exosuit armor type Operation Sandstorm after recovery from... Maybe I went a tad bit overboard. What are you, a cat? I demand head scratches, meow. So, what's with the cat suit? You about to head out on a mission or something? Later tonight, going to Oklahoma to infiltrate some lame doomsday cult. They've been stocking up on quite the arsenal for their private militia. But why are you wearing it now? I'm gonna have to put it on later anyway, so why not? It's warm and cozy, like a nice glove for my entire body. You're just salty because you guys only get an itchy turtleneck and cargo pants. Hardly. So, how you been enjoying your vacation? Must be nice to get to stay here and nurse your boo-boo while the rest of us have to go out and put our lives in danger. And whose fault was it I got injured in the first place? Hey, now, what's past is past. I already apologized, right? Heck, I'd trade places with you if it meant getting to sit on my butt all day. I'd hog the couch in the break room and watch the Price is Right reruns all day long. Supreme relaxation. Don't just guess a dollar less, you... Really aiming high with that dream scenario. <laughs> it's not like I can sit around and do nothing. There's still paperwork that needs to be done. Well, there was, but I finished it weeks ago and haven't gotten anything to do since. Honestly, I'd rather take unpaid leave and go home. He's doing nothing here all day long. What's all this, then? There are documents related to our last mission. I thought I'd look into why it was canceled so abruptly out of poor curiosity. Think there's foul play going on? I don't know, maybe? Problem is that there's a lot of information about my security clearance. Without the unredacted documents, it's hard to piece everything together. I've got all these points leading to a black hole of information. Hmm. Oh, have you thought about asking Greg? You know, Greg in the Office of Censorship. He's in charge of censoring classified information and sorting high security documents. It's because of him all this stuff is blacked out to begin with. He's got a photographic memory, too, so he pretty much remembers all this junk he marks up. Why not ask him for help? 
What? There was no way he'd risk his job divulging classified material like that. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't straight up give you classified intel. Nobody's that stupid. What he can do is help lead you in the right direction to do documents you do have access to. Then hopefully those can give you the answers you need. He just hands them out like that? Nothing in the world is free, of course. Since you're asking him for a favor, he'll ask you for one from you from later. In that case, no deal. I'm not that invested in this mystery to owe anyone any favors. Do you understand what you're saying? If you don't figure it out, then it's gonna constantly haunt your mind like an embarrassing memory. The mystery is a canker sore. No matter how hard you try, you're gonna prod it with that tongue of yours anyway, so get it over with. I'm too darn interested now for you to just give up on it. If you're that curious, then go ask him yourself. Look, I've got him bunches of times and he's yet to call for a single favor. It'll be fine, so stop being like that. All right, fine. That'll be worth it. Can you pick up those flowers you knocked onto the floor and put them back for me? Thanks. Will do! Damn! Office of censorship, huh? Figures. Look, honey, you're worrying too much. That's nothing to have a meltdown over. Okay, okay. I'll look into it, so calm down. Yes, yes, I'll contact you as soon as I have something right. Okay, I love you too. Bye-bye. <sighs> Why do millennials get so overly emotional at the silliest? Oh, you need help with something? Huh. I wanted to ask something from the Office of Censorship something, but it looks like they're not here. I work in the Office of Censorship. Oh, you Greg? Greg went off. Can I help you with something? Yeah, my name's Agent Owen and Spec Ops. I know who you are. Oh, now I feel kind of bad that I didn't know who you were. We've never met. I just happen to have seen you in some work that's come across my desk a few times. Huh. Well, the past few days I've been looking to why my most recent mission was canceled so abruptly. The one in Columbia. Darn, I guess Madison was right about you having a photographic memory. The rumor's overblown. Photographic memory isn't a real thing. Mine just happens to be better than average. Come on, 